the Praise Report, a media ministry of Heartland Christian Center. Many have been touched physically, spiritually, and emotionally while enjoying the program. And now, here's Pastor John. As you can see, we are... <laughs> <laughs> we got building blocks behind us. We are in the back of our thrift store in Eustis, Florida. I'm thinking about a scripture lately. And a lot of things that you see on the media and on the news, you see and hear. The world's not going crazy anymore. It has tipped the scale. People need God. People need God. There's a scripture. Well, let me say this first. How many times you have heard the saying, they say, they say, they say. Uh, my pastor who's in heaven now used to say, someday we're going to meet those they's. You know what an expert is? An expert is an out-of-towner with a briefcase. That's an expert. But there's a scripture in the Bible that is true and amen that says, Daniel 11, 32, they that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. It doesn't say they in America. It doesn't say they in Africa. It doesn't say they in any other country. They, no matter where you're from. It doesn't say if you're white, if you're black, if you're brown, if you're yellow, if you're red. It doesn't say anything about the color of your skin. They that know their God shall be strong. And that works anywhere. And that will preach anywhere. You want to be strong? You want to do exploits? Meaning great and mighty things? Meaning being able to rest in Him through all different situations and trusting Him? Know Him. Know Him. God Almighty who sent his only begotten son, who Holy Spirit is with us. And Holy Spirit introduces us to Jesus. And Jesus always points us to the Father. It's by the Son, through the Spirit, to the Father. Do we know him as God Almighty? Do we know him as Father? Do we know him as our loving Savior? Do we know him as sweet, precious Holy Spirit, our teacher, our guide, our comforter? So when you hear somebody say something crazy that ain't biblical, know this. It's not because of the color of their skin. It's not because of where they're from. It's do they have a relationship with God. You know the song, I walk with him and I talk with him along the miry way. And you know the song in the garden? He walks with me and he talks with me. And the joy that we feel as we tarry there, no other could afford. Walk with him 24 hours a day. Listen to his voice in the inner spirit. Follow his voice. Those of you that accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, you are his sheep and you know his voice. And as we know him and trust him, we are the ones that have the strength because in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. We are the ones that should be doing exploits. So don't make excuses. Just have a relationship with God. And watch what God can do with one yield, surrendered soul that will walk with him and trust him and love him completely and receive his love. John, the apostle John knew that revelation. He said, I'm John, the one Jesus loves. A lot of people say, well, Jesus loved John more. Let me tell you what I think. God loves all of us. But John had the revelation of the love of God. So I'm John, the one Jesus loves. We have people in our church, they think that they're his favorite, but I'm his favorite. Now, of course, I'm teasing. He loves us. Know him, have a relationship, and watch what God will do with somebody who knows him. And because you know him, you can trust him, and you can follow him 
into righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. All right, we love you.